A uh, new poll shows some significant changes in the Republican presidential race in Iowa. It's good news for Mitt Romney and bad news for uh, Newt Gingrich. Chief political correspondent Jan Crawford is in Cedar Rapids with the new lineup and a surprise for Michelle Bachman, too. Good morning, Jan. Well, good morning, Debbie. You know, the latest Iowa poll has more movement. Mitt Romney at the top, followed by Ron Paul. And then there's a name that we haven't heard in the top tier, Rick Santorum. But yeah, just like you said, the biggest surprise of the day came from the camp of Michelle Bachman. The sometimes bitter battle for Iowa took a slightly unexpected turn Monday when State Our Senator Kent Sorensen joined Ron Paul's team. Sorensen had been Michelle Bachman's state campaign chairman. In 2010, when I was running for the state senate, Congressman Paul came and, and, and actually did three separate events for me, and I felt like that he was a, he was by my side when I had a tough race. Now it's my duty to be by his side. But Bachman fired back, charging Sorensen's loyalty came at a price. Kent Sorensen personally told me he was offered a large sum of money to go to work for the Ron Paul campaign. Paul finds himself in the middle of a tough three-way battle atop the Iowa polls with Mitt Romney and a surging Rick Santorum. It does look like there are more cameras than there used to be. <laughs> Paul, a libertarian with a small government message, said his rivals are no different than President Obama. You pick another status quo presidential candidate, nothing is going to change. Santorum said he knew his time in Iowa would come. We had the right message. We had the bold plans. We had the uh, consistent uh, track record. Santorum has run a traditional political campaign, spending almost all his time in Iowa and hitting all 99 counties. He appeals to the social conservatives who make up a sizable portion of the electorate. But the new frontrunner is the man who's kept expectations low in Iowa. Mitt Romney was greeted by big crowds of voters who like his business experience and think he's their best hope of beating Barack Obama. I've got no predictions for exactly where we'll uh, end up in the, in the tally, but I feel like it's going to be a good, strong showing. Many voters here say they worry the one-time frontrunner, Newt Gingrich, can't win because he has too much baggage to survive a battle with Obama which may help explain why Gingrich is down nearly 20 points in a month in this latest Iowa poll. Gingrich is feeling the heat, reacting testily after Romney joked about Gingrich's failure to get on the ballot in his home state of Virginia. More like uh, uh, Lucille Ball at the chocolate factory. Gingrich shot back. I'd love to have him say that to my face. But yesterday he was joking himself as he actually made chocolate in a campaign stop. Governor Romney had a cute line yesterday about my team resembling Lucy at the chocolate factory. And I just want to say, here I am in the chocolate factory. <laughs> Now, Gingrich also complained yesterday about some of the negative ads that Romney and the other candidates have been running against him. I asked Romney about that yesterday afternoon, and he said, listen, if you can't handle the heat now from the Republicans, how are you going to handle it when President Obama throws everything your way? Jeff, Debbie? Jan, that is an interesting point. Now, even Romney has been uh, modest about his expectations in Iowa. How do you account for his rise and Gingrich's slide in the state? You know, it is remarkable to see what's happened in these polls in the last month. They've absolutely flipped places. Gingrich has plummeted 20 points. And everywhere I go when I'm talking to voters, they're saying the same thing. They worry that he can't beat Barack Obama because of his past, because of his baggage, as they say. I heard that word baggage over and over and over. I talked to voters who said, we were going to be for Newt. We like Newt. He's smart. But Obama's going to kill him. And that's why we're going to back Romney. They think he's electable. They think he can beat Barack Obama. They don't worry that they're going to be surprised prizes in his background coming out. They saw him four years ago. Nothing came out then. So that's why they're going to Romney, keeping their eye on the prize, as one voter told me. That's taking back the White House from Barack Obama. All right, Jan Crawford in Cedar Falls. Thank you so much.